Anti-bullying activists showing their true colors. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Do you ever get the impression that some anti-bullying activists don't actually want to stop bullying? They just want to use their issue as a political tool? Because, well, there was this day of action against bullying this week, and it resulted in activists engaging in bullying. It's called a day of pink or pink shirt day, and it's held in schools and in workplaces across the country. Now, what happened here was that some members within the LGBT community decided that they were going to boycott the Day of Pink. Why? Because Lorene Harper, the wife of Prime Minister Stephen Harper, was chosen as one of the spokespeople for the day and the event to try and raise awareness of the issue. But some activists said they didn't want anything to do with Mrs. Harper, and so they went online and made a stink about her involvement. Choosing Lorene Harper, wife of PM Harper, to be the face of Day of Pink was a huge misstep. Our government is legit harmful to trans people, read one tweet. Well, here's another tweet. It said, Lorene Harper is the Day of Pink ambassador, while her husband's government uses the Senate to kill C-279 and promote transphobia. Hashtag pinkwashing. Uh, who wrote that one? Who wrote that statement? Well, that woman is uh, named Ariel Troster. She's an employee with the big government union named PSAC, the Public Service Alliance of Canada, the one running a campaign against Stephen Harper right now. Here's her Twitter description of herself. Putting the famine, feminist, queer activist and writer, national campaigns officer for PSAC National. Now, further showing that this was about politics for many of the people protesting, that it was about protesting Stephen Harper rather than worrying about the issue of bullying, check out this tweet. If I wear pink, will Stephen Harper stop bullying the public service? Now, aren't these the same people that pride themselves on tolerance and acceptance, and yet when someone from outside their circle comes in and says, hey, I'll join you in that, they turn nasty, brutish, and want to denounce her. They're showing that this really isn't about stopping bullying at all. It's about using an issue to bully people. The hypocrisy is staggering, but what's worse? Well, rather than embrace Mrs. Harper, they just make it a day all about politics. Uh, Jerry Diaz is the director of the organization behind this, Jer's Vision, a controversial organization in and of itself, but he actually defended Mrs. Harper. He said, Lorene Harper is a voice in a community where LGBT issues are not always heard. There are some languages I can't speak, but people who won't answer my phone calls or read my letters will read hers. The Prime Minister's wife is involved in an awful lot of charitable cases. She is involved with Humane Society. She's involved with organizations that give hockey equipment to disadvantaged youth in northern Canada and the Arctic. She's involved in anti-poverty campaigns. All kinds of issues she speaks up against or up for. She's involved in charitable issues because she believes in them. And when she decided to step forward and say, let's stop bullying, the bullies decided to show their true colors and say, uh-uh, you're not welcome here because this day isn't about bullying or stopping bullying. It's about bullying you and your husband and our political agenda.